Battle of Kaybar, Ghazwa Kaybar. The Battle of Kaybar was a significant event in the early history of Islam. It took place in the year 628 c. 6 a.h. and was fought between the Muslim forces led by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the Jewish tribes of Kaybar, located in what is now modern-day Saudi Arabia. The following is a detailed account of the events that took place during the Battle of Kaybar. Background The Jewish tribes of Kaybar had been involved in a number of conflicts with the Muslims, and they had fortified their settlements with strong fortifications to withstand any attack. In response, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, gathered an army of approximately 1,400 Muslim soldiers and marched towards Kaybar. Arrival at Kaybar The Muslim army arrived at Kaybar after a march of several days. They were met by a group of Jewish soldiers who were stationed outside the city. A fierce battle ensued, and the Jewish soldiers were quickly overwhelmed by the superior military tactics and weaponry of the Muslims. The Muslim army then proceeded to advance towards the city. Siege of the city The Muslim army reached the fortified city of Kaybar and began a siege. The Jewish tribes were known for their wealth, and they had amassed significant resources, which they used to construct strong fortifications around their settlements. The Muslims were faced with the difficult task of breaching these fortifications in order to capture the city. Over the course of several days, the Muslims engaged in a series of battles and skirmishes with the Jewish defenders. The Jews put up a fierce resistance, but the Muslims were able to breach their fortifications and gain entry to the city. Companions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Sahabas, or the companions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, played a crucial role during the siege of Kaybar. They were among the bravest and most loyal supporters of the Prophet, and their unwavering commitment to the cause of Islam helped to secure a decisive victory for the Muslim army. The Sahabas who fought in the Battle of Kaybar included some of the most prominent figures in early Islamic history, such as Ali ibn Abi Talib, the cousin and son-in-law of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and Abu Bakr, the first caliph of the Islamic empire. They were joined by a large number of other companions, including Umar ibn al-Khattab, Uthman ibn Affan, and Zubair ibn al-Awam. During the siege of Kaybar, the Sahabas played a variety of roles. Some served as soldiers on the front lines, engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the defenders of the city. Others provided support roles, such as supplying weapons and provisions to the soldiers, and treating the wounded. One of the most significant roles played by the Sahabas during the siege was that of leadership. Many of the Sahabas were experienced military commanders, and they provided strategic guidance and direction to the Muslim army. They also played a key role in boosting morale and inspiring the soldiers to fight with courage and determination. The Sahabas also played a crucial role in spreading the message of Islam during and after the siege of Kaybar. They worked tirelessly to promote the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and many of them went on to become influential scholars and leaders in the Islamic community. Overall, the Sahabas played an essential role during the siege of Kaybar. Their bravery, leadership, and unwavering commitment to the cause of Islam were instrumental in securing a decisive victory for the Muslim army, and their legacy continues to inspire Muslims around the world to this day. The Battle of the Stronghold the Muslims then encountered the strongest Jewish stronghold in the city, known as the Fortress of Al-Khamis. The fortress was heavily defended, with multiple layers of walls and trenches surrounding it. The Muslim army launched a fierce assault on the fortress, but they were initially unable to breach its defenses. The Jews were well prepared for the attack, and they launched a barrage of arrows and stones at the Muslim soldiers, causing significant casualties. However, the Muslims were determined to capture the fortress, and they continued their assault. After a long and grueling battle, the Muslims were finally able to breach the fortress and capture it. The Battle of Kaybar was a significant military engagement that took place in 628 c between the early Muslim community and the Jewish inhabitants of the Kaybar Oasis, located in what is now modern-day Saudi Arabia. The Muslims were led by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, while the Jewish defenders were commanded by their leader, a man named Kinana ibn al-Rabi. One of the most famous stories from the Battle of Kaybar is the tale of Hazrat Ali's defeat of the Jewish warrior Marhab. Marhab was a towering figure who was said to be over seven feet tall and was renowned for his strength and fighting skills. 
He was armed with a massive sword that was so heavy it was said to require two men to lift it. When the Muslim army approached Kabar, Marhab came forward to challenge them to single combat. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, initially offered the challenge to his companions, but they all declined, knowing how fierce a warrior Marhab was. Finally, Hazrat Ali, the cousin and son-in-law of the Prophet, stepped forward to accept the challenge. Ali was known for his bravery and skill in combat, and the Prophet had once declared him to be the Lion of God. The two warriors faced each other on the battlefield, and Marhab began to taunt Ali, saying that he was too young and inexperienced to defeat him. However, Ali remained calm and focused, and when Marhab charged at him with his massive sword, Ali deftly dodged the blow and struck him with his own sword. Marhab fell to the ground, mortally wounded, and as he lay dying, he asked Ali who he was. Ali replied that he was the Lion of God, and Marhab is said to have exclaimed, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger. The defeat of Marhab was a significant turning point in the siege of Kabar, as it demoralized the Jewish defenders and inspired the Muslim army to fight with renewed vigor. Hazrat Ali's victory over Marhab has become an important part of Islamic history and is often cited as an example of the bravery and skill of the Prophet's companions. The story of Hazrat Ali's victory over Marhab is also significant because it reflects the importance of personal courage and bravery in the Islamic tradition. The Prophet Muhammad often stressed the importance of standing up for what is right and just, even in the face of great adversity. Hazrat Ali's victory over Marhab is seen as an embodiment of this principle, as he was willing to put himself in harm's way to defend the Muslim community and uphold the principles of justice and righteousness. In addition to Hazrat Ali's victory over Marhab, there were many other significant moments during the Battle of Kabar. The Muslim army faced a fierce resistance from the Jewish defenders, who were skilled warriors and had fortified their position in the oasis. However, through a combination of bravery, skill, and perseverance, the Muslims were able to overcome the defenders and emerge victorious. The Battle of Kabar was a significant event in the early history of Islam and had far-reaching consequences for the Muslim community. It demonstrated the power and resilience of the Muslim army, and helped to solidify the position of Islam in the Arabian Peninsula. Hazrat Ali's victory over Marhab remains an important symbol of personal bravery and courage in the Islamic tradition, and continues to inspire Muslims around the world to this day. The Conquest of Kabar with the capture of the fortress of Al-Khamis, the Muslims were able to gain control of the city of Kabar. The Jewish tribes surrendered and agreed to live under Muslim rule, paying an annual tribute in exchange for protection. The Muslims also gained access to the significant wealth of the Jewish tribes, including their agricultural land, date palm groves, and other resources. The capture of Kabar provided the Muslim army with a significant source of wealth, which was used to finance future military campaigns. Significance of the Battle The Battle of Kabar was significant for a number of reasons. Firstly, it marked a turning point in the relationship between the Muslims and the Jews in the Arabian Peninsula. It also demonstrated the military prowess of the Muslims, who were able to defeat a numerically superior enemy with better fortifications. Additionally, the capture of Kabar provided the Muslim army with a significant source of wealth, which was used to finance future military campaigns. The Battle of Kabar was a significant event in early Islamic history that had a number of benefits for the Muslim community. Here are some of the ways in which Islam was benefited by the battle. 1. Expansion of Muslim territory The victory in the Battle of Kabar allowed the Muslims to expand their territory and gain control over the Kabar oasis, which was a major source of wealth and resources in the region. This allowed the Muslim community to strengthen its position and increase its influence in the Arabian Peninsula. 2. Consolidation of Muslim Unity The Battle of Kabar was a significant test of the Muslim community's unity and solidarity. The victory demonstrated the power of the Muslim army and helped to consolidate the bonds between the various tribes and clans that made up the community. 3. Increased respect for Islam The Muslim victory at Kabar also increased the respect and admiration that other communities had for Islam. The Jewish inhabitants of Kabar were known for their military prowess, and the fact that the Muslims were able to defeat them in battle was seen as a sign of the strength and power of Islam. 
4. Acquisition of valuable resources, the Muslims gained a significant amount of wealth and resources as a result of their victory in the Battle of Kabar. This included gold, silver, and other valuables that had been accumulated by the Jewish inhabitants over the years. These resources were used to support the Muslim community and finance future military campaigns. 5. Strengthening of the Prophet's Leadership The Battle of Kabar was one of many battles that were fought under the leadership of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. His role as a military commander was critical to the success of the Muslim army, and his leadership during the battle helped to strengthen his position as the leader of the Muslim community. Overall, the Battle of Kabar was a significant event in early Islamic history that had a number of benefits for the Muslim community. It helped to expand Muslim territory, consolidate Muslim unity, increase respect for Islam, acquire valuable resources, and strengthen the Prophet's leadership. These benefits would play a critical role in the future growth and development of Islam as a global religion. Conclusion The Battle of Kabar was an important event in the early history of Islam. It demonstrated the military strength and prowess of the Muslim army, and it provided them with access to significant resources that were used to finance future military campaigns. The capture of Kabar marked a turning point in the relationship between the Muslims and the Jews in the Arabian Peninsula, and it paved the way for the eventual expansion of the Islamic Empire.